Hey, what's up you guys? It's Dorothy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go into Law or chapter 89 of Lost by James Patterson. So let's get right into this video. This video may contain sensitive topics and foul language. If you do not wish to continue, I suggest you click off the video now. You have been warned. Hannah and Albert brooded, brooded on a beach near Miami-Dade College's downtown campus. Hannah had checked on Cy, who was recovering from her injuries at a hotel in Little Havana. Earlier in the morning, they had left her lying on a king-sized bed with ice bags over her face. Hannah had never seen her brother hang his head before, but right now his head was drooping toward the sidewalk. Hannah thought about Josie and started to cry. Her brother put his arms around her shoulder and pulled her tight to him. He said, well, get her back. How? We need the backpack. I have several plans ready. By the time I'm done with Billy and his friends, there won't be many people left in Miami who speak Russian. Hannah shook her head. I can't risk Josie. We're going to negotiate. She stare, stared hard at her brother and said, understand. Albert nodded. Hannah thought about her own teenage years, about the abuse she took from her father. Of Albert would always step between the two of them. She didn't know how many beatings her brother had taken for her, but it was more than she could ever pay back, and he was willing to risk everything for her and her daughter. This had all turned into a tremendous mess, and Hannah had no idea how to fix it. She decided that if she hadn't found Magda in the bag by tonight, she would meet Billy, the Russian, in person and see what she could give him in exchange for her daughter. It was a sobering and terrifying process prospect. Hannah wondered what she could offer Rostov instead of the diamonds. They would probably take Albert just so they could ex exact revenge. She wasn't going to sacrifice her brother, but she would sacrifice, sacrifice herself if need be. She didn't like the idea. She'd go back to work as a prostitute, as she'd done in her early 20s, to pay off her debt to the Russians. She'd do it happily if it made jo meant Josie was safe. Hannah considered all the selling points she could make during the negotiation. If the Russians took her as payment, they'd have an experienced woman who could handle herself competition in, Amster in different situations. Plus, the Russians would eliminate their competition in Amsterdam. The Russians were always looking for an edge in business. She could make an argument that this would give it to them. Albert perked up on the bench next to her and he nudged her and held up his phone. Look, look. We're getting a clear signal. He held up the iPhone out so they could both look at the tiny map with a flashing blue dot that had appeared on the screen. Hannah sat up straight and said, Is that the tracker? Where's the signal coming from? Albert said, Close by. He raised his ears and looked across the street, then north toward an American Airlines arena. She's real close, maybe over in that park. He stood up and started moving in that direction, holding the phone out in front of him. For the first time in a couple of days, Hannah felt real hope. That is the end of this chapter. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.